Yo, what's good to the Kuji? I know it's your boy J, man. I'm back with another video. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded these type of videos, but um, I don't really have internet in my house because of some um circumstances. So right now, um, yeah, that's pretty much why I haven't been uploading very lately, and also because of high school. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this video real quick. Basically, um, this is an attribute vid, so y'all can go ahead and look at the most recent stuff I've done. I've gotten um Dimer and my ankle breaker on Hall of Fame thanks to um thanks to my boy who went on my account and helped me get uh those two badges. Uh, his name is Ali Rocks247. If y'all wanna go uh hit him up on Twitter, that's his um name. But those are basically all badges I have. And they are all essential for playmakers and they all are effective. Um now these are my NBA shots. I have Stephen Curry, um, Darren Williams is my jump shot. Uh, normal two is a good hot jumper. It's really fast this year and it really works. Uh, and I also have some other stuff that really works too, which is very effective for dunks and layups. These are one of the best dunks in the game in my opinion. Um, they do not get blocked. I've played in many one v ones and um many games of park and stage and they haven't been blocked so i mean y'all can try these out but these are the best dunks and layups in my opinion and if y'all want y'all can also add um alley-oop dunks if y'all want it's not really that necessary in my opinion because you don't really need to throw alleys and stuff um next is dribble moves uh for dribble moves Elite 2 is the best one for crossover. And then you have your spin and your behind the backs right there. Um, for this one, you can either, for your basic sizes, you can either use Elite 2 or Elite 3. Those are the, That's the best one, in my opinion. Elite 2, I'd rather stay with. For between the legs, you can really go with Kobe, Stephen Curry, or you can go with Jamal Crawford. I used to be on Jamal Crawford, but there's a better move you can do with Kobe. Plus, you can do the Jeff T move, as y'all know. Which I kind of like doing. So I went back to Kobe. Um, Stephen Curry. For the uh, rhythm jury. You can either do Stephen Curry or Elite 7. I stick with uh, Elite 7. And the best behind the back in the game is Elite 1. So y'all want to put Elite 1 on. <sighs> but yeah, I'm about to show you a few things. This little spam move right here. Is the Kobe move right here. This little spam move. That's the uh, Kobe between the legs. All you got to do. Is flick once in between the legs on your non ball hand and then flick it behind the back like you're doing the ball, uh, like flicking the right stick back. So you flick it diagonal down and then you flick it like down and then you'll be able to do that one move. So do the behind the back move like I'm doing now. All you gotta do is flick the uh, right stick down twice and you get that little move. And then to get this little move right here that I really like to do, oh my god, that junk is deadly. All you got to tie is the Kobe between the leg, then the Elite behind the back, and then 16, and it gives you a little glitch move. See? But that, that move looks so deadly. Um, Yeah, that move looks really, really deadly, and I really catch angles with it, to be honest. That move is really, really deadly. If y'all need more help, y'all can just hit me up on the social media, and I'll teach y'all how to do it. But this right here is the Chris Paul move. Y'all already know how to do that. I showed y'all how to do that a long time ago. Um, and also for the people that don't know how to do the Jeff Teague move, it's very simple. All you gotta do is do the between the legs and then the behind the back at the same time, but you have to do it very quick in order to get that Jeff Teague to pop out. I haven't really done it like that because I don't, at first I didn't really like doing the Jeff Teague, but I mean, I don't know. I kind of like... I kind of like Jamal Crawford between the legs better because it has, like, a better Kobe escape. But, yeah. Basically, the Kobe, I can combo a lot more with it, as y'all saw with that one combo. I have way more combos than that. But I'm going to save that for another video. I just wanted to show y'all my um, attribute upgrades and a few of my dribble combos. If y'all want to know um, more of my dribble combos, y'all make sure y'all hit me up on Twitter at carrying underscore issues. Y'all also make sure um I'm also make sure y'all comment down in the description saying y'all want a combo from carrying and I'll definitely make sure I post it. But it's been your boy Jay and I'm out, man. Peace.